Hey, what's up YouTube? So check this out. Most of you guys have been having problems installing the new Omega drivers. And I'm really sorry I couldn't get this video out soon enough for you guys to watch, but definitely you're not the only one. It seems that some of the users have been uh, updating to the new Omega drivers, but Windows hasn't been really compatible or really friendly when it comes to these new drivers. Now, most of you guys have been getting blue screens of death, others have been getting quality, or somehow the drivers never installed correctly because there is a problem with the certificate. When you install these drivers, you're going to notice that your screen flickers and then once it comes back on, there's like a little notification where it says if you would like to accept the fact that AMD is installing drivers that aren't digitally signed. Now, what's supposed to come up is that little box saying whether you agree or not. What happens is that it doesn't really come up because it's something that Windows is at fault. Now, um, now what had happened here was that now Microsoft has been aware of the problem and has been resolving it by doing a hot fix update. So if you guys scan for updates on your Windows, you're going to notice that you're going to have a good hot fix update ready for you to download. Once you download this, you can automatically uninstall the, uh, the drivers that you had already installed and try again. Hopefully this kind of fixes the situation, but it's not a guarantee yet because it's been pushed as a rush. Being that the Omega drivers are almost a week old, or yeah, well, almost a week old, they haven't really been on the works to really fix the situation. All they can do is push out a hotfix to temporarily shut down the certificate requirements and then have you install the drivers without a problem until they can actually find an official fix for it but for now I would suggest you hitting the links down below for the article on where I've read this that you guys are not having the only problem and unfortunately for me I was lucky that I didn't have to face this kind of problem because I had the uh, AMD beta drivers installed so what had happened for me was that it just did a clean uninstall of the beta drivers and then installed the Omega drivers for actually to work the way it should. Now, um, like I said, I couldn't push this video out soon enough for you guys. But I don't guys, I'm going to have a little treat for you. It's part of the Christmas of what my true love gave to me type segment. And I'm going to be doing more on this Omega drivers by getting the new Calvary um, C uh, APU with the new aces pro x88 so stay tuned for that and hopefully i should be getting this by wednesday my birthday or maybe sooner maybe today maybe tomorrow but who knows and definitely stick around thank you guys for watching do comment rate subscribe let me know what you guys think and again i do apologize for the inconvenience that i couldn't push this video out soon enough for you guys to watch and apart from AMD's, uh, you know, resolved issue, unresolved issue, I guess for some. But hopefully this fixes the issues that you guys are having and can actually take advantage of the new AMD Omega drivers. So till then.